Hi everyone, my name is Emma and today we will be doing a quick full body workout. All of the exercises that we will be doing today will work through the whole body. So it might be a little bit intense, you're more than welcome to take a break as you need and then jump right back in. Um, but don't worry, this workout will be nice and quick. So it will be over and done with in no time. No equipment needed for today, just your beautiful self and your mat. And if you would like a playlist for today, just hit my description below this video and you'll see that I linked a Spotify playlist there. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, when you are ready, we are jumping right in. We are going to bring our hands together and then we're gonna tap down on the floor. So we're just coming into a nice little jumping jack here, <laughs> warming up through the whole body. So inhaling through your nose, exhaling out through your mouth. I bet you didn't think that I was gonna do a little bit of cardio, hey? <laughs> Tricked ya. <laughs> Good guys. Keep going here. So it's like you're springing up and then hitting the mat and then clapping. Good guys. Ooh, beautiful. Finishing off here in four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Coming to the side of your mat here. We're going to come down nice and low. We're going to come into some crab walks here. So getting really nice and low. When you come to the edge of the mat, you can do a little squat jump if you want, or you can do a little heel raise up to you. And then we're coming back. Good, again, you can do a heel raise or a little jump. Make sure that those knees are tracking over those toes. Staying nice and low. And we do heel raise there. <laughs> you can mix it up if you want. Try and stay low in those legs. Good. Nice work, guys. Keep going, let's just do one more lap here. I'm really mixing it up, aren't I? <laughs> but good on you if you're just doing jumps. Beautiful work, guys. Coming to the bottom of your mat now, just rolling down, bending through those knees, let that head hang. When you're ready, you're just gonna walk out into that plank here and hold that plank. Good, so you're going to press those heels back, tuck that tail under, zip up from the core, making sure that your neck is a nice long extension from your spine. We inhale here, exhale out. When you're ready, you're gonna bring that left hand to the center of the mat and open up into your side plank. Opening up here, holding, and then flipping over to the other side. Making sure your waist is nice and lifted. Good, if you need to come down to your knees for this, that's totally fine. You do you. We're gonna come back into our plank after this round. <laughs> This is our last one. And then come back into that full plank. We are going to walk into our bear, then press out. So you walk and you create like this tabletop position here, and then you come out. Those knees should be in line with your hips. Try not to stick those hips up. And you're nice and puffed up into those shoulders. Good. Good, let's do four more here. Three. Hold in the bear in two. Last one here, hold that bear. Just pulse those hips up for eight, seven. Keep drawing up from the belly. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, just gently drop those knees down. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, good. Inhale, drop the belly, open. Catch your breath. <laughs> and exhale, round. Good, one more time, inhale, drop. And exhale, round. 
Beautiful work, guys, coming back into that bear position here. So tucking those toes under, come into your bear. Now, this is gonna be quite difficult, but you can do this. So we're gonna bring that right foot up. We're gonna bring that knee in towards our chest and then extend it long. Knee in towards our chest, extend it long. Good, we don't have many here, guys. So try and challenge yourself. Good, let's do four. Squeeze those glutes. Whew. Three, two, last one. Hold that leg up, just pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, bring that foot back in and just drop those knees. You can take another cat cow here, inhale, draw and exhale around. Good guys, taking it over to the other side now. So tucking those feet under, make sure you're nice and puffed up into the chest and those uh, wrists should be underneath your shoulders. So lifting up into that bear, you bring that knee in towards your chest and then extend it long, squeeze that leg, bring that knee in, extend, in, extend, good. Making sure that those hips are nice and level here. Keep drawing up from the belly, good. We have four, hold it out in three, two, last one here, hold it out. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Wow, oh, that was hard. That deserves a little child's pose. <laughs> Knees out wide, big toes together, stretch it back. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale out. Oh, wonderful work, guys. Right, as this workout is really quite quick, we're getting right back into it. So, we are going to come into a little break dancer position here. We are in that kind of uh, four point kneeling position, but we're gonna tuck those toes under and we're going to bring those knees, actually we're not in four point kneeling, we're almost in like this squat position here. So come back on those feet. We're going to bring our left hand down and then open up towards it. So get that nice twist out in the side here. Open, nice stretch. Now, if we want a little bit more, you to extend that bottom leg out and so you're bringing it up as well. Like you're a break dancer. Good. A lot of weight is front arm. Keep going. Four, three, two. Last one here. Out to the right here. Hold here. Can you bring that foot and arm together? Tap it down. <laughs> for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Over to the other side. Over to the left. Woo! Try not to fall. Use your core. We have eight, seven, Six, five, two, and one. Nice work. Bring back into the center here. Drop those knees down. Give those hips a little shake. Okay, guys. Are you ready for our second final exercise? Yes. Okay, good. Good to hear. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are going to come back into our plank, but this time I want you to have your feet out in, um, a turned out position. So we bring one foot back, then the other foot back. Bring those heels together. Really puff up into those shoulders here, guys. Make sure those hips aren't lifting up. Draw up from the belly. We bring those knees out, come into this froggy press here, and then we shoot ourselves forward. Good, we come down and press up nice and strong in those legs. Good, down, press up, squeeze, squeeze those glutes, down. Lift up, good. Let's just do four, squeeze, three, two, woo, it's kind of fun. And last one here, hold it out here for four, three, two, and one, nice work. Bring one foot up to your hand, bring the other foot up to your hand, come down into a yogi squat, oh, how lovely. Oh, of course, you don't have to have your hands up here. 
I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> you don't have to have your hands up into prayer position. If you have them up in prayer position, you might want to use your elbows just to open up those knees a little bit more. But otherwise, you can keep those hands down on the mat if you need a little extra support. And don't worry, it doesn't matter if your legs are up here, your bum's up there. It's fine, guys, you know. Oh, it's just practice is all about opening up those hips. Oh, goodness, all right. Now I have calmed myself down a little bit. We have our finisher, are you ready? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. All right, guys, when you're ready, just bring those hands down to the mat to start to straighten through those legs here. Enjoy that nice forward fold. And then oh, we're just gonna roll up. Beautiful heel towing those feet in together. Can you guess what's coming? All right, are you ready? We are going to bend through those knees. We bring those arms up towards the sky. Yes, you can jump here if you'd like. I'm giving you that option. Bring those arms up towards the sky. We bring those hands down to the floor. We jump or step back. I will show you both options. So this is the jump. We jump back into our plank. Really bend through those elbows as you jump back. And pull up from the core. Jump back in. Lift up, and yes, you can jump if you want. Right, down, coming into our burpees, guys. So you can step back into our plank, step back in, lift up, or you're jumping. Jump back, jump in, jump up, whatever you wanna do, all right? Let's go. Down, in, up, engage that core, keep it on, guys. We don't have long to go, this is our final exercise, yay. <laughs> Then you can go and have something yummy to eat or have a shower, Ooh, have some water, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and I'm being hit by my necklace. I still haven't learnt, have I? <laughs> Good, guys. We have 20 more seconds left. Yay. Keep going. Oh, I don't know why I'm taking the jumping option. <laughs> I'm a sucker for punishment. Good on you for taking the jumping jumping option but good on you for even doing this workout in the first place well done it's all about just carving out that time for yourself Woo. and um, you know even if you do one of the exercises just jumping on the mat and carving out that time for yourself is fantastic so you should be so proud of yourself good guys oh, let's just do one more here I've definitely go over, gone over the 20 second mark and up well done. <laughs> awesome work today, guys. You absolutely killed it. Sorry, that was a little bit more cardio than you probably expected. Check it in, inhale through your nose. And big exhale out through your mouth. Oh, well done today, guys. I'm gonna go grab some water. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, of your day. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys. Bye.